It didn't get better for two weeks. So I just went, I couldn't eat. I couldn't do anything. I was stressed. I was lonely. I was about to kill myself. I literally was on my way to go and have a 100 mil shot of pure heroin. And that would have killed me instantly. Not even halfway through, I would have been dead. You know, boom. But a mate of mine I've known for 22 years rang me and he said, how you going, John? How you been? What's up? What's going on? And I said, I'm about to kill myself. And I know God is real because the next words that come out of his mouth wasn't his mouth words, it was God's. He said, are you hungry? I was physically hungry and I was spiritually hungry. All right? And he said, are you hungry? That was God saying, my son, are you hungry? And I said, yes. So he invited me to King's Table. And I walked into that church thinking, oh, it's just another church, you know, they've given up on me before, rah, rah. Going to hear a message, get a fee, and I'll go. Off I go. So I did. I went into that church, and I was loved. I was welcomed. I was accepted. Okay. And it was like, wow. I heard a beautiful message. Had a beautiful fee, and then yeah, I left. And then the next week, I'm living in the streets, in the tent, and I go there before the church even opened up, and I started help volunteering, setting up chairs, setting up the tables packing up the food, going and inviting people in. And I looked at it, I went, it's not where I am. It doesn't matter where I am, it's what you can do for the Lord. We are a body of a Christ. If I can be a help for somebody else, well, I don't care about the situation we're in, I want to help the others. And I look now, when I'm going out with the, I go out, I started help doing the volunteering with these guys. We did the outreach ministry when COVID came, and it was like awesome. God bless me of a job. You know, I prayed for a job. God bless, got me one. Fortunately, I don't want to work anymore. I want to go back into ministry, but God will open up doors somehow. But, you know, I started going into those shelters where I was actually killing them mm. with the drugs. Now I'm actually going in there trying to save them mm. with the truth, the gospel. The only drug you need is the gospel. The only, alcohol, the only spirit you need is not the Bundy Ram or the Jim Beam. It's the Holy Spirit. You can get high on the Holy Spirit, you can get drunk on him and come down and still be happy the next day and not worry about, oh, did I do anything wrong yesterday? And worry about the cops knocking on your door. You know that God has got rewards for you at the end. So I just want to encourage you today that if you want to come up and speak to any of us today or anything, yeah, you're welcome. So God bless you all.